Hi everyone, Mary Harris here from Tap Into Action. And today we're gonna to start talking about triggers, those things that happen out of the clear, they feel like they're out of the blue, right? You know, we might hear something, see something, a look on somebody's face, an encounter that we have, and we get triggered, which means we feel an emotional and usually a very physical response to something. <clears throat> From a, one perspective, what, what's really happening is we've just gone back in time to some other time in our life where we have felt some kind of alarm, some kind of distress. And we are going back to a belief that we have that about what is happening in the moment. The reality is, is it really not in the present moment and we're projecting on to whatever is happening about something that makes us feel unsafe. And I hope that makes sense. I know that you know what being triggered means and how it feels and why it can be a problem, which is why we want to do some tapping on that. So it's really interesting. There's a little saying that says, you know, that if it feels hysterical, right, in your body, then it's probably historical. So somewhere we're holding something in the body from an old event that is getting triggered by something we heard, smelled, felt, um, that happened, and we're responding from the past. So I want, first of all, I want everybody to know that we've all got something in our past that, you know, that may be a belief that we have or a reaction, you know, a way that we needed to protect ourselves at a younger age. If there that is your background, you may need to work with somebody. And I want you to know, you can reach out to me, reach out to the others. This work, you can only go so far with um, getting to the roots of some things. You can only get so far when you're working on your own. Tapping is great. It really does help us. But sometimes we need somebody else to be able to see what we can't see. So by all means, feel free to reach out. I do a free consultation. The uh, my website's down below. It's Mary at Tap Into Action. You can reach me and we'll set up a time to chat. All right. So what I want to talk about today is the sense of feeling that of being powerless, getting triggered. And the response is a feeling of powerlessness or a loss of control. So as you know, the question I really like to ask in order to get to those roots is a very simple question. I tell you, write it down, which is just what do I have to be believing to feel this way? When you get that triggered, you may not be able to do it at the moment, but it might be something you can do afterwards. And ask yourself, what's great about this question is we start to see what those unconscious programs are um, that we've got that get us triggered. In other words, they're what happened and what we started to believe about ourselves and the world. And when we see that coming back up, that's what triggers us. And we feel that same powerlessness, or we feel sadness, or we feel uh, angry, or we can feel very scared. And they're all coming from that past event. And we want to find out what it is, because that's how we take it out. And we make our, that our target. So for today, we're going to talk about um, when you felt that sense of powerlessness or lack of control. So if that's how you're feeling right now, think about that scale of zero to 10. How, how strong does that feel in you? Where do you feel it in your body? Okay. Take care of yourself as we're going through this. We're going to do a few rounds. It's going to get us into a more resourceful, stronger state. Repeat after me. Even though I have this sense of powerlessness, like I have no control, I deeply and completely accept myself and these feelings. We're going to go right through the points, okay? This feeling of powerlessness. Stuck and paralyzed. Overwhelmed by circumstances.
with this belief that I have no choices. Feeling trapped by fear and doubt. I open my mind to new perspectives. Finding the strength in me. Grounding myself in the realization that I have the power within me to make choices and take action. My voice matters. I am the author of my life. So I choose to reconnect with my inner strength. I believe in my courage to change. Step by step, I claim my power. Empowering myself. Breathing in confidence. And exhaling doubt and limitations. For I am a capable and resourceful person. I breathe in strength and trust in my abilities. It's okay for me to have a voice. I own my wisdom and power. And I'm giving myself permission to own even more my strength. Take a breath. Sit up taller. Pull your shoulders back. Hold your frame for just a second. Breathe in. Feel your strength. Ground yourself. Nicely done. Nicely done. You know that, that feeling when you asked your question, what do I have to believe? And I made believe, ha, huh, I'm, I'm powerless. I have to have no control. How do we get back into that feeling of grounding and find that spot of light that holds our, our power, our wisdom? So we find it, we come back, we release, and we come back to it and find it in our, in our body. But remember, it can come back. We want to get to the root of these kinds of things. These are often called core wounds, okay? And we want to heal them. That's really what our work is about. But it's nice to have resources for when we are triggered to help us get out of them faster. Hey, y'all, I really appreciate be, you being here. I have, I am so happy that you tap along with me. I invite you to subscribe to my channel so that we can continue on with this uh, triggering series. I plan on doing several of them about different kinds of triggers that we can uh, feel. And so by all means, go ahead and subscribe. And until next time, today is an excellent day to tap.